You know it'd be pretty funny and fucked up all at the same time? If I release this video titled Friday the 13th Part 8 Jason Takes Manhattan Review and my review didn't start until the last two minutes of the video. So Friday the 13th Part 8, Jason Takes Manhattan, tells the story of Jason Voorhees once again being resurrected, boarding a boat, and taking a long motherfucking ride to Manhattan. Welcome back everybody to the Friday the 13th Review Series. Continuing on through the Kane Hodder era of the Jason movies, we get to what most people will call not only one of the worst of this franchise, but one of the worst slashers ever made. Jason Takes Manhattan. Do I agree with that? You'll find out very soon. But this movie is interesting because you get into this era of Kane Hodder, and it feels like ever since Jason Lives, they really wanted to try to do different concepts with these movies. They didn't want to stick to the Friday the 13th template anymore. And unfortunately, all they could come up with for this movie is, let's just change the setting and do the same shit, but not quite as good, and that'll be cool, right? No. No, it's not cool at all. Why is it not cool, you ask? Well, when you release a movie that's titled Jason Takes Manhattan, most people with a functioning brain expect the fucking movie to take place in Manhattan. But if you haven't seen this movie already, this movie should be titled Jason Takes a Long Fucking Boat Ride to Manhattan because three quarters of this movie is on a boat. Apparently when they were shooting this movie, it's very expensive to shoot in New York. They had budget constraints, they had some other shit going on, they lost a lot of money, lost a lot of time, and they had to kind of make some shit happen to make a full-length movie, and unfortunately the result of that is the actual movie they intended is just like the last 20 minutes of this movie, and everything else is just filler because they had this boat, and they decided to have all the kills and most of the storyline and most of the characters and everything happen on this boat ride. Now starting off with my positives for Jason Takes Manhattan, because it's not all bad, I'll be honest. As much shit as I gave Kane Hodder in the last review for not being nearly as iconic as I think everybody makes him out to be, I feel like he puts much more into the role in this movie. He has a lot more fun with it. Even though he's in a worse movie, he has a lot more fun with it. You can see certain scenes whenever he's a lot more aggressive and he's, you know, he's taking charge and he's like grabbing people and pulling them into alleyways. He's got a lot more of a presence and a lot more of a stamp on the character of Jason in this one, in my opinion. Another thing that I enjoy, even though it takes forever to get there, despite the fact that I find this a very cheap trick to try to make your movie seem different than what it actually is, I do enjoy the Manhattan setting. It's nice to get away from Camp Crystal Lake for a while. It makes no sense why we're there, and I'll get into that, but I do enjoy the aesthetic of seeing Jason walk around New York. And my final positive is that there is one kill in this movie that I really enjoy. I don't necessarily like it on the degree that I will watch this movie over just to see that kill. I'd much rather just go on YouTube and watch a clip of it. But one, it'd probably be in my top five Jason kills, honestly. The rooftop kill whenever the boxer is just beating the shit out of Jason, or so he thinks, until he finally tires out, tells Jason to take his best shot, and Jason knocks his fucking head off in one punch. Take your best shot. Motherfucker. That is a very cool and entertaining kill, so I enjoy that. Everything else in this movie, holy Christ, shit, dog shit, bullshit, every other shit you can think of. Jason Takes Manhattan, shit. If you thought New Blood was bad, let me just tell you, New Blood is like Jason Lives compared to this shit. This is definitively, I will say now, as somewhat of a spoiler for my upcoming reviews, but fuck it, the worst installment in this franchise. I had so much agony trying to get through this movie. Honestly, it felt like it never was going to fucking end. Everything else besides those three things that I just named is dog shit in this movie. Like, unbelievably bad. Jason, his kills, the look of Jason, such a downgrade 
from the new blood, which was already, aside from the look, kind of a downgrade from everything else in my opinion. So it's just a continuing decline in this franchise. When you get to the characters, the characters are fucking dreadful. They're all like one note caricatures. They try to inject a little bit of personality here and there to make them somewhat stand out, but they don't. You don't care about any of them. They're annoying. They're terribly acted, terribly acted to the point where you cannot fucking wait for Jason to just rip their heads off. But unfortunately the carnage candy, when you get to it, the kills aside from that rooftop kill, they suck in this movie. They don't really have any kind of imagination, no kind of uniqueness to them. There's no fun or entertainment value in the kills. It's just bland ass Jason kills. Jason walks up to a dude and when he walks away, that person's dead. That's about the most I can describe the kills in this movie because they are not fucking memorable one bit. Then you get into the story, which is one of the biggest what the fucks in this movie. Jason gets resurrected once again, of course, it's a Friday the 13th movie. He's alive, he's back, the man behind the mask. He grabs a hold of this fucking boat full of these kids on this little graduation party or whatever the hell they were on, I don't even remember. All these teenagers, he climbs up onto this boat and he rides this boat down Camp Crystal Lake, which is apparently a fucking ocean now that connects itself all the way up to New York. Rides it all the way to Manhattan, picking off some of these teenagers on the boat finally gets to Manhattan and still pursues them as if he has some kind of a vendetta with them. Makes absolutely zero fucking sense within the character of Jason because if you know anything about these movies, the only established lore as far as Jason's motivations is that he wants to be left the fuck alone. If you come into his territory, it's your ass. He doesn't just hunt people down and go on boat rides and car rides and bus rides to kind of get this vendetta solved just because he happened to see somebody he didn't like. He doesn't do that. He keeps his ass in Camp Crystal Lake. So the entire concept of this movie about taking Jason to Manhattan makes zero fucking sense. And if it was more of a fun movie, if it was a better movie, if it was on the level of Jason Lives or Part 4, that's a stretch, then you could forgive that. But since it sucks, you're not forgiving it. It's just bullshit. And what the fuck was up with this movie constantly having these flashbacks of child Jason that looks nothing like child Jason? We have been established numerous times that Jason was deformed from birth. He was deformed as a child. Why do we have this regular looking motherfucker come up trying to act like he's Jason as a child? And especially whenever they get into the ending. What the ending? Okay, the way they kill Jason. Toxic waste comes through the sewer. He sees it coming, starts melting away like fucking Wicked Witch of the West and becomes his young self. Almost like his soul was freed or some bullshit. What the fuck was that? That literally looked like they had five minutes left to shoot, they had about $20 left and the movie was gonna be done, and they just threw some shit out so they could have an ending. That's how bad it is. And it also totally fucks the rest of the franchise as it goes on too as far as continuity, which has honestly never really been the concern of this franchise in the first place, but it's even worse than something like this whenever you have an ending like that where Jason is now dead or reincarnated or freed soul or whatever the fuck that was supposed to be as this child in Manhattan sewers. So if you're gonna have a movie after this, which they obviously intended to since they released one of these fucking movies every single year, regardless how successful it was, how are you supposed to connect the dots with that now? So when you go back to Camp Crystal Lake, whenever you go back to the regular setting of these movies, how the fuck did Jason get from Manhattan back? Did they take another boat ride? Did they take a bus this time? Who the fuck knows? And Jesus Christ, that runtime, guys. This is one of the longer Friday the 13th movies, and it does not need to be. This movie should have been like 75 minutes, and it still would have been a painful 75 minutes, but I was literally looking at my watch. I was contemplating on fast forwarding through it and just reading the rest of the plot on Wikipedia, but I didn't want to cheat this movie in a review, and just in case, God forbid, it did get good in the last 15, 20 minutes. This took fucking forever to get through. And there is nothing worse than watching a movie and constantly looking at your watch because you are so miserable you could want to do anything else with the rest of the time this movie is going to be on. And there's one final negative and then I'll get the hell out of here and tell you guys how shitty this movie is and my rating. I hate the look of Jason in this movie. As much as Kane Hodder feels like he stepped up to the plate a little bit more in this one, the look took a gigantic step down from the badass look of the new blood. This one is like Juicy Jason. He's wet 
and soggy and slimy the entire movie. I can understand going with a look like that for maybe the first 20 minutes of this movie. When he gets out of the lake, he's been down there for so long, he starts drying off, eventually he looks like the Jason that we know and love, or at least has a different look about him, but no. The fucking dude stays slimy and wet and nasty like he's been microwaved the entire movie, and it looks horrible. I mean, that had to have been the most uncomfortable thing for Kane Hodder to do. I can't even imagine being covered in that wet, slimy shit for however many months they shot this thing. Apparently, like, maybe four days with how fast this fucking movie was put into production. But the look of this movie with Jason, no. That's probably... Next to Jason Goes to Hell, probably the worst look that Jason's ever had in this franchise. So overall, guys, this movie sucks dick. I hated it. I could not stand watching it. I will never rewatch this movie again. It's one of the worst slashers I've ever seen. It's definitively my worst Friday the 13th movie of this entire franchise. Sorry to spoil my next couple of reviews, but they're more entertaining than this one, I promise you. So Jason Takes Manhattan could not steer you away from this movie more. And honestly... The fact that it made me so goddamn miserable to the point where I really wanted this movie to end is just enough to get it over the edge from skip it to that one other rating. So if you're a Friday the 13th fan, please, God, watch any other movie but this one. There is absolutely no reason to pop this in. Go on YouTube, watch the boxing kill. That's all you need to see in this. So as a parting gift for this bullshit sequel, I'm going to have to let you off with a fuck this movie. So what do you guys think of Jason Takes Manhattan? Are you one of the people that I would really love to have a conversation with that actually likes this movie? Or are you with the rest of the world, 99% of us, I guess, that hate this thing? I mean, is it as bad as I thought it was? Or do you think there's some redeeming factors here and there? Please, by all means, if you think I'm too rough on it, tell me in the comment section below. Let's talk some Jason Takes Manhattan. And then we'll move on to something more worthwhile of talking about. So put your thoughts down below, guys. We will talk about it. Please like and share this video. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. If you want to check out my social media links, I got Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Spreadshirt. Nice little Spreadshirt story. Get some Cody Leach merchandise. And my Patreon page all down in the video description below. So check that out, guys. And if you want to check out some more of my videos, including the rest of this Friday the 13th review series, you can check that out by clicking right over here.